Hi there and welcome to uh, today's video where we will be attempting the Edexcel IGCSE ICT 2015 practical paper. So we'll be starting off with the first activity which is to do with graphic software. Uh, in the meantime if you do require the data files uh, for this particular practical paper you can drop an email uh, to this email address and as soon as possible I'll get back to you uh, with the data files. Okay, okay let's get started then. So let's move on to uh, activity number one okay which is using art imaging and graphic software okay so over here the scenario is given it's about Duncan's Villa hotel group which has La hotels in London Chennai and Hong Kong managing director is so these are the contact details okay let's get started so task AG1 it says open a new document using word processing software enter these details in the footer of the document and uh, save the document as task AG1. Okay, so I'll be saving this in my uh, folder itself, uh, which is over here. So let me right click over here, new Word document. I'm going to save it as task AG1. Let's open it and uh, uh, immediately let's head down to the footer and over here we put the details task ag1 name candidate number center number okay then let's close the header and footer so then the question paper goes on to say uh, frederick wants a logo for the company open a suitable graphics package create the logo the logo must be fit for purpose and include the letters dhg and the number 2000 and one suitable image from the images folder so let's go into the images folder and see what's available for us to use uh, inside this folder the rule first rule that you need to keep in mind is you cannot use photographs for your logo so automatically colombo hong kong london monique paris and temple are going to be eliminated because you cannot use photographs for your logo so then the only ones which are which you can choose from are image 2 image 3 and image 4 another thing that you need to keep in mind is the logo that you select should somewhat represent the business activity of the organization and in this case we're talking about a hotel so either image 2 or image 3 would be the most suitable uh, for this particular organization so i would go ahead with image 2 and the software that i would use is paint itself so what i can do is i can right click and say open with and go down to paint so it has opened up okay i also need to include the letter DHG and the number 2000 okay so what I can do is I can take a text box from over here maybe take the color red draw a text box uh, somewhere over here or on the center on the side would be all right okay somewhere over here and you can type DHG 2000 okay uh, Okay, the font is way too big, so I'm pressing Control A, selecting all of it, and I'm going to make it a bit smaller, 24, 36, 36 is also too big. Let's go down to 28. Let's take DAG 2000 to the next line. And uh, yes, let's keep it like this. Uh, okay, uh, I wanted to move it slightly, but now it's too late. I have already come, come out of the text box, so uh, it's okay dag 2000 is clearly visible okay if you want you can keep it in the top center uh, this is also fine okay so then how do we save the logo the logo needs to be saved as dhg logo so let's go ahead and let's click on file save as uh, jpeg png whatever okay uh, and let's go into our folder which is on the desktop 2015 and it should be saved as dhg logo DHG. Okay. okay so uh, this is done the next thing it says is paste a copy of DAG logo into task AG1 so let's do that it's over here let's uh, control C and let's come over here control V okay so control V is a shortcut key to paste and control C is a shortcut key to copy uh, do not print at this stage answer this question on document task AG1 explain why the type of image they are saying why the type of image you have chosen is suitable for use in a logo so the type of image that i have selected is what is called a clip art okay so in this folder we have uh, in this folder 
we have photographs and we have clip arts so the type of image that I have selected is a clip art uh, so what I can type over here is oh I made a mistake uh, not mistake I forgot to mention that image one is also suitable uh, to be used as a logo okay so image one two three are suitable enough to be used as a logo so over here you can put explanation you can say let me increase the font size the type of image I have used is a clip art and not a photograph okay clip arts sorry one second type of image okay you can also go further this clip art represents a building which can be used to give the impression of a hotel okay which okay that's enough okay so i have spoken about two things one is the type of image which is a clip art and then also i have spoken about the content in the image saying that it represents the business activity okay uh, moving on so we have now come to resave task ag1 print task ag1 on one side of a4 so once you're done with this you can resave it you can come to file print shortcut key is control p and uh, once you come over here make sure it's fitting one a4 paper and then you can go ahead and click on print so with this you have now come to the end of task ag1 so i'll be closing it now and moving on to the next part uh, which is task ag2 so before i move on to task ag2 let me close programs that i don't need so once again it says open a new document using word processing software enter these details in the footer of the document and save the document as task ag2 so let's come to our folder let's go back and let's right click over here new word document and uh, the name of the file is task ag2 let's open it up and immediately head down to the footer which is over here task ag2 your name candidate number and your center number uh, then the question paper goes on to say Frederick has an image of the show temple near Chennai he plans to use this on a web page he has saved the image as temple open the image temple in a suitable graphics package and then there is some uh, cropping to be done there is some altering to be done as well okay so since I previously used paint uh, for this particular question I'm gonna go ahead and use Photoshop so let me quickly open up Photoshop uh, it's loading okay so let's locate the image until that uh, opens up so they were talking about this particular image so if Photoshop has opened uh, let me go ahead and say open with Photoshop okay so the first thing that is to be done is it says crop the image to remove the tourist from the right side of the image so crop it to remove the tourist from the right side so they are talking about this area okay the tourist from the right side let me undo this okay so we have the crop tool over here as you can see this is the crop tool let's uh, take the tourist all the way up to here there you go okay so the tourist from the right side has been cropped out I did not press enter yet because there is further cropping to be done uh, the next thing it says is the trees from the left side of the image so crop the image to remove the trees from the left side of the image so trees from the left side so I think approximately up to here let's pull this let's try to get the trees as much as possible yeah up to there should be fine is there any more cropping to be done that's it make sure the image remains rectangular so yes the image is rectangular one side is longer than the other side so once you're satisfied with what you have selected you can go ahead and press enter then the cropping would be finalized okay so now the cropping is finalized uh, the next thing it says is there is a tourist in a white shirt standing in the entrance of the temple alter the image so that he is no longer visible so we do have somebody here at the entrance so they want us to alter the image not crop it alter it so that this particular individual would no longer be visible so what I would do is I would take the eyedropper tool and select the kind of dark 
uh, kind of dark brown that is over here okay so I would click and you can see that that color appears in my palette okay so you can see the color that I just clicked over here has now appeared in my palette so now what I would do is I would take a paint brush and apply that same color over this individual okay so watch what I do my paint brush is over here okay so I've taken a paint brush and my paint brush this is the size of my paint brush let's make it slightly smaller okay so I can okay make, make it even more smaller okay that's better and now very gently I'm going to no I did not do it properly undo control Z let's make it even smaller okay that's better and now very gently uh, let's color this individual out okay so my mouse moved slightly this way that way and uh, got a bit messed up okay so <laughs> this is the alter alteration that I have done I think it looks good enough okay I think it looks suitable enough uh, the next thing that we are we are supposed to do is uh, it says save the image as show so let's go ahead and let's save it as show so file save as so let's so make sure you're in the same folder so you can save it in the images folder or you can save it in the 2015 folder itself doesn't matter so I'm gonna change the name to show uh, we are gonna keep the image as a JPEG image that's all right and go ahead and click on save maximum quality and say okay so come back to your folder and you can see your image has been saved so we have show over here as you can see okay uh, what does the paper say to do next it says uh, paste a copy of show into task ag2 so let's come over here control c task ag2 control v that's what has been done and then it says uh, do not print at this stage answer this question on the document task ag2 explain the benefit of reducing the size of the image temple okay so we're getting two marks for this so what is the benefit of reducing the size now to answer this question you have got to understand where is this image going to be used so if you remember at the beginning they say he plans to use this on a web page okay so you need so what needs to be understood over here is when the size of an image is reduced the file size becomes smaller when the file size becomes smaller this image is definitely going to load in a shorter time on his web page which basically means loading time will be less okay so you can go on to say uh, let's increase the font size uh, reducing the size of the image would reduce the images file size which in turn would reduce the loading time on the website okay we can stop over there okay so reducing the size of the image would reduce the images file size which in turn would reduce the loading time on the website you know the big bigger the file size the longer it would take to load on a web page okay so the smaller the size the shorter amount of time it would take uh, to load the image the next thing it says is resave task ag2 print task ag2 on one side of a4 paper so once again you can use a shortcut key control p uh, make sure it's fitting one a4 paper and then you can go ahead and click on print uh, so with that we have now come to the uh, end of activity number one okay uh, next in the next video we'll be moving on to activity number two which is using uh, spreadsheet software okay uh, so see you in the next video